All I could hear was the sound of people screaming. My back felt numb, and as I looked down, I was shocked by the color I saw on the ground. Seeing the way my friends were looking at me, I simply thought I was drifting apart. I got stabbed when I was 15 over a girl I loved. Her name was Laura. What I thought was a punch in a split second made me react, duck, and feel something just missed my throat. My friends pushed me in the backseat of a car, and here we are, running out of napkins as I'm pressing as hard as I can to stop the ebbing flow of blood before we make it to the nearest emergency stop. <sighs> I needed to call my mom. I needed to toughen up. I had no idea how she'd react, but fuck it. I'm losing blood. And oh boy, is it scary feeling time is nearly up. Later on that night, for the first time in my life, I was crying for hours laying in bed. Laura, she never called back. <sighs> what really hurt me the most was loving someone and feeling broken by them, especially when you're not feeling worthy enough to be loved. You see, being raised as a man in the Middle East, communicating emotions, wasn't something I was capable of. <laughs> I didn't know anything better than toughening up. Two months after the incident, my mom walks into my room, rubs her hand over my back, over my scar, and asks me, Ali, I know this has been bothering you now for a while. You know, we can always go get surgery. We can fix this up. I looked back straight into her eyes and I refused. I wanted to make sure wearing it was something I was capable of. But that moment changed my life forever. I started growing this burning sensation and desire to succeed, to make it up, to feel good enough. So I did what I do best, compete, toughen up, and show the world who I was. Student of the year, swimmer of the year, heck, singer of the year. I even won my talent shows, my, my high school's talent show. But nothing ever filled my cup. Not even making it to the world championships, that wasn't even enough. What the fuck? Why am I feeling like that? Man up! Look at you! You're big, and you're tough, and you're rougher than this rough! It's hard growing up feeling things deeply and not knowing how to express them. It wasn't until my 20th birthday on the 16th of September 2016 when I finally owned up. I broke out of that shell of mine, and I admitted desperately needed to see someone. I realized that in abandoning my scar, I wasn't loving myself enough. Growing up, oftentimes we're told to toughen up. Many of us fear showing emotions, so we stay silent behind our scars. The truth is, we all have scars we hide, some more visible than others. Laura came into my life to show me the capacity of love my heart is capable of. But what I've come to learn is that scars do not define us. So how are your scars setting you apart? In healing my scars, I learned that the strongest people in the world have and carry the biggest hearts. And feeling deeply, every teardrop we shed weighs gold in a warrior's heart. That 15-year-old boy, he's now using his voice to shed a light on youth suffering in silence and feeling apart. Starting my region's first mental health magazine, my greatest strength is now wearing my scar on my back and my heart on my sleeve.
Because as a man, that is real tough. Thank you. This is for my granddad. Rest in peace. I love you. 5th of January 2020.